Hi Libra, this is Petra at Indigo Tarot Doc Club. I'm here to do a general psychic tarot reading for you for the week of Monday, May 22nd through Sunday, May 28th. I've already shuffled and cut the cards from various decks, so I'm ready to get started. So for work, Libra, I have the world. For home, I have the page of wands. For love, I have the seven of cups. For money, I have the nine of cups. And for unexpected, I have the sun. The sun feels like it's tied into the world card for work. It feels like you're going to get some big promotion or some big bonus of money or both. For some of you, this involves you having to move to another state to take on this position. For others of you, it feels like you're some kind of a professional skater and it looks like maybe you're in some kind of a tournament and you're going to do well at this tournament you're going to receive a lot of accolades and a trophy at this tournament for home i have the page of wands it looks like your neighbor is going to come forward to you this week offering to help you with something at your home for some of you it has to do with shampooing your carpets for others of you it has to do with re-sanding or refinishing some wood furniture of yours. For others of you, a neighbor is going to help you with your fence, fixing your fence. For some of you, they're going to show you how to put up some certain type of special fence as well, which is going to save you a lot of money over hiring somebody, some group of people to come and uh, build it for you. Your neighbor knows how to do this special type of fence and they're going to help you do it so that's going to save you a lot of money for some of you you're going to give a gift of fruit like a giant fruit basket to your boss and for some of you you're going to give it to your neighbor you're going to have it shipped to their house because you're showing appreciation for something that they did for you it doesn't have to do with the the carpet or the fence it has something to do with something else not related but I can see that you're going to give somebody a really nice gift basket and they're really going to appreciate that from you. So if this week you have to get a gift for somebody, you might want to consider that for them. Okay, for love, Libra, I have the Seven of Cups and it feels like you have about three people that you're seeing right now. I feel like I'm talking more to a male than a female. You have three people that you're seeing and there's one that you like more out of the three of them. But that one might drink too much. And that's one thing you don't like about this person. <laughs> so you kind of sort of don't want to say anything about that to them. That, you know, you want them to stop drinking or cut down on their drinking because you're afraid that they're going to dump you for that. But at the same time, you are getting a little tired of seeing three people. And especially money-wise, going out on dates, you know, you pay for most of these dates. I still feel like I'm talking to a male more than a female here. Um, but there's one that drinks way too much and is drunk a lot of the times that you see her. So you're a little worried about her and you're, that's kind of demoting her on your line of people that you're interested in and who you want to see on a regular basis or on a more serious basis in the future. That's what I'm seeing with that card. Okay, for many, I have the Nine of Cups. For some of you... You're going to, uh, something's going to make you super happy. You're going to be very emotionally excited about this. For some of you, it feels like it's an offer, like you won a trip or something. Like you won tickets to attend something. For some of you, these tickets that you won, it's to, um, like an amusement park of some sort. And you're going to take some people along with you to go on this trip that you won. For others of you, you're getting a message from someone. Someone wants to see you and they're going to pay for your trip to go visit them for a few days, like three or four days to another state. And you're very happy because um, for some of you, it's your cousin and you haven't seen her in a long time. So you're very happy about going to go visit, going to go visit her. And then for others of you, um, you're just getting news of some big check coming in to you or to someone close to you, like maybe one of your parents. And that money's going to positively affect you as well. So you're very happy about that. So I don't see any ne anything negative with that card right now. 
And then for unexpected, I have the sun. And again, it feels very positive. Um, for some of you, it's tied to your work about um, reaching some higher level or getting some kind of big promotion or big check or big bonus coming in. So you're very happy about that. For others of you, for this unexpected card for you, Libra, it feels like you're going to have a whole team of people to help you with a project. Mostly it feels like it's at work that you have this project that you're going to undertake and you're going to have a whole team of people at your disposal and you're going to be able to lead them and they're all going to listen to you and do what you say and you're going to feel like you're on top of the world with these people helping you. For some of you, it has to do with a big client of your the company that you work for and you're going to be in charge of the client's next marketing project. So you're very happy about that. And it looks like it's going to be very successful for you. So let's see what's going to happen for you during the week. So for Monday, Libra, I have the moon. For Tuesday, I have the knight of coins. For Wednesday, I have the two of staffs. For Thursday, I have the six of cups. For Friday, I have the chariot. For Saturday, I have the ten of staffs. And for Sunday, I have the five of swords. So on Monday with the moon card, it feels like somebody's going to make you very happy on Monday. Normally this person is a very serious looking person, but they're going to say something jokingly and you're going to be the only person that gets it and you're going to be laughing so hard. And from then on, you're going to see this person, you're going to become closer friends with this person because you're starting to get to know them better. For some of you, this is a person at work. For others of you, it's just somebody in your neighborhood who you meet through your friend or your relative. For Tuesday, I have the Knight of Coins. It feels like some of you are making an offer to someone for their car or a part on their car, like an engine or something. You're going to be offering them some money to buy that part and take the part off their car because they don't, they're trying to part out with their car, piece out their car, and they're selling some parts on eBay, but you live right by them and so you found out that they're doing this and you need that engine part or some other part for some of you but for I see the engine here and you're going to be offering them some money and they're going to take that money. <clears throat> for Wednesday I have the two of staffs. It feels like you're blocking something from coming in. It feels like maybe you're at your house or on your yard or on your property and you're blocking something. Uh, it could be for some of you pollen. So maybe you are installing some kind of machine in your house, some filtering machine or something to keep the air cleaner because you and some other members of your family, including your pets, are having some allergy problems. For others of you, you're keeping somebody out. There's somebody that wants to come to your property, come onto your property, and you're blocking the way. You don't want them at your house. You don't trust them. It feels like they've stolen things from you before, and you're doing whatever you can to show that they are not going to pass. They're not going to pass you. They're not going to get on your property. They're not going to go into your house. There's For some of you, it's somebody that you don't want them to come near your daughter anymore. Okay, for Thursday, I have the Six of Cups, and it feels like you're thinking about someone that you no longer date and you're sad because you wish that you could see them again, but it feels like you think that it's over for, for good, that like you can't even be friends with them. But this person has forgiven you already. So if you want to come back and talk to this person uh, or at least be friends with them, you can, you should. And this is a good week for you to do it, to come back and say, hey, you know what? I'm sorry about what I did. Can we still be friends? Because it looks like this person's not angry at you anymore and uh, not hurt anymore. It looks like they've gotten over whatever you did. So if you want to come back and be friends with them or be boyfriend and girlfriend with them again, you should try this week. For Friday, I have the chariot and it feels like this is your boss and he's treating you, some of you, like dirt. Like he thinks he's all that and a bag of chips and he feels like he can order people around. You, on the other hand, are not going to do everything that he says, he or she says. It feels more like it's a man. And you, it feels like in some way you're going to outsmart this person or embarrass this person with their higher up, with their supervisor, be, to get back at him for treating you and your co-workers like dirt. 
but from, from what I can see here, you're not going to do everything this person says. You're going to, you're going to talk back in some smart way that's not going to offend the person, but it is going to make them think like, hmm, I can't, I can't rule everybody here. This person is, is, uh, different. So they're going to see you differently. For Saturday, Libra, I have the 10 of staffs. And it feels like you are completing a cycle of some sort. For some of you, you're getting the last of some work done outside, some kind of landscaping projects. For others of you, this has to do with work. You're finishing something at work, and it's taken you a long time to get it done, but you're just about to get done this week. So you're very happy and you're ready to move on to the next big project at your job. You're ready to take it on. Like you're ready for that next challenge. That's what it looks like. Okay, for Sunday, I have the Five of Swords. It looks like you're hurting yourself. You're sacrificing yourself. You're physically causing yourself some pain so that other people in your family won't have to endure that pain. Let me see if I get any other messages from this. For some of you, you're going to burn yourself accidentally. So please be extra, extra careful this week. Near any hair dryer, curling iron, clothes iron, and stove, and oven rack. So please be careful because I can see that you're, some of you are going to burn yourselves accidentally. Okay, that's all the messages I get for you right now, Libra. I hope you enjoyed this reading. I look forward to seeing you next week. Let me know if you like this format. And thank you for watching my videos. I really appreciate it. This is Petra at IndigoTarot.club.